Continuing with the Fat Boy and Company build, in this video we will be doing a few detail bits and also cut the pieces for the roof. Now, as you might have seen, I have cut the sides a bit longer. The reason for that is to fold it over so when I add the side walls there is not a, a white or a, a open strip. The walls go wrap around the sides but there is a bit of a problem in that the wrap around still shows a bit of white so what I am doing is to with some oil paint just gently color that white strip that is visible to a color very similar to the brick I'm using a um, burnt sienna and with a toothpick just very very carefully run it down that white that is visible and you will see it sort of just disappears into the brown so when you look at the brick there's no white sticking out from the paper the width of the paper or the thickness of the paper is covered by the paint and again very carefully just a a pin prick of paint on the toothpick basically just the the very tip of the toothpick being put in the paint and then very carefully just run along the edge if you have a fine paint pen in this color that can also be used my paint pens unfortunately is not this color but they are uh, black and gray I will not bore you with this process, so I'm going to pause the video here. Adding the side wall, I have just glued the brick paper to one of the side walls, and now we will add the side wall to the building. So let us first dry fit it and see that everything is nice and square and that the brick lines up you can see the brick needs a little bit okay there it lines up nicely now so let us now put some glue to the end of this wall section I think I need a little bit more glue very daring and normally let me rather do it the safe way putting the glue on a piece of wood any scrap piece will do and then using a toothpick to spread the glue as I did with the paint just now so much more controllable than trying to get a huge blob out of the the bottle all at once Now let us bring that in and let us see that the paper lines up nicely. I think that lines up quite nicely. There's a bit higher there. Alright, and then once again the jig to hold it that it can dry square
and you can also see that the aircon has been added to the door and let us add the brick paper on the other side wall but again that is a procedure that you have seen me glue brick paper to cardstock so I will not bore you with that I will show you just now how to get the roof measurements doing the roof for this model I have um, basically done I put the model upright I uh, looked at the width and on the picture I calculated as in the previous videos how far it goes past and then I took a piece of card right at the back let me just find one here and put it up at the back and said right that is more or less the angle that we want um, if I can turn it sideways you can see there so then I measured the exact center of the building and of the cart that I'm going to use for the roof once it was that height I just marked it and cut it now on this you can see there's a pencil line um, and that is actually the way there's another small pencil mark and there's another small pencil mark they will have to go to the middle to make the triangular shape for the roof and then we'll cover that with tiles I have now marked out the roof let me just see you can see and then what I'm going to do as well is to cut a little flat area there so that there's a place to rest on the back of the building so let's cut those out right there you can see the shape of the roof that will fit on there and then rest on the back so the next step now is to add the tile paper to this again I won't bore you with a process that you've seen before so the next shot will be where the piece of roof is covered and the two pieces that we cut off from the roof do not discard them as they will become the side pieces for the roof attaching the roof I had to trim a little bit more off the top so that it fits flush to the box but I also want to add a brace underneath so that this piece doesn't slide down but in order to measure that I am going to have to use a bit of uh, should we say ingenuity how to mark where the brace must come I am going to use just a little bit of paint on a long piece of plastic offcut just touching the bottom so that there's some paint on that and then holding the model very carefully I will slide the if I can try and keep it so that you can actually see slide that in and against the inside of the model put a few marks so if I take the roof off you can see there are some very small silver marks so I know that my uh, stopping brace need to be behind that let me close the paint and add that brace so that I can add that piece of roof and then the other two side pieces again I'm just using an off-cut piece of card to make the stopper for the roof or the brace for the roof and this time I'm using a liberal amount of glue to hold it in place As you can see the glue filling in the slot at the back because this will sit at an angle right so once that is dry it will fit into the model basically like that almost being straight and then we can cut the two corner pieces for the roof 
the support at the bottom of the roof has dried and if we now just slide it in it prevents it from sliding off the building and keeps it in place quite nicely so now we can do the other two sides little triangles we will have to cut to fit that in there and for that I normally use the off cuts from the roof so we will fit them in and we have to take a bit of a measurement to cut them more or less to size if I can find my pencil I can see there is the front and there's the bottom edge so then once those two areas are marked the bottom edge at the back and the front you'll see it's a slightly skew line um, because when that is sitting there it is skew the other option is to fit it in from the side and the back pressing it and tilting this building over and then drawing a line alongside the existing roof and then following that line it normally is a bit of trial and error until it fits perfectly but with those lines as a guide it does help quite a bit to cut the piece of card stock and of course we dry fit and dry fit until it is fitting 100 percent and then only do we add the roof tiles so let me cut this one and then get it to fit nicely and when adding the roof tiles be very aware of the orientation since this piece is lying with the narrow point up to the top of the roof and so the tiles must now also run down in line with that because I have some tiles where I cut the other piece out but they will not be working because they are running in the opposite direction and if I put that one there the tiles is running skew so I have to cut a new piece with the correct orientation I have glued the roof tiles and let's now see how it fits we start pushing it up from the bottom and it fits nice and tight there might be a little bit of trimming to do and don't worry about the line here that is going to be covered by a strip where the two roof sheets join or the tiles join together that gets covered by a, uh, a strip that will go over there and there the second panel has been added on the roof and then we will use a piece of wire insulation and fill that gap um, so that it looks like the normal cover strips that you see on tiled roofs and there I've trimmed the back of the building now let's see how the roof fits I hope the glue has dried sufficiently oh, I think that looks quite good now we just need to add the gutters and the cover strips on top there's a piece that need to be over here where the um, name board comes on to and the aircon needs to be added plus a few other detail parts plus a downspout and these as you can see the the wrap around is still loose that needs to be glued down uh, which i think i will do next <laughs> 